I welcome you guys again to a new tutorial video. Yes, don't forget if you are new, please hit the subscribe button, turn on notification sign so you always get notified whenever I drop a new video. So, into today's video, guys, I will be walking you through, I will be showing you, and I will be teaching you how I was able to get this beautiful payday flyer design done on Pixelar with my Android phone. So all I expect you do is this, watch this video from very start to the end of it so you get the full tutorials or the full secret on how I was able to get this done. Thanks and without saying much, let me take you guys straight to Pixel Lab guys. Bye and stay tuned. So here is my Pixel Lab guys. Here is my Pixel Lab guys. So once you open your Pixel Lab app. Forget the type of pixel lab you are using. Once you open it, this is how the interface will look like. So all you need to do is just delete this. Then once you delete your import by clicking on this part, then you look locate your import from here. Then when you click your import, now let me locate where the background is. The background is on download. So you click on download. You wait for download to appear. So let me locate the background I'll be using for this tutorial. So as I'm looking for the background, this is the background. So now as this is going on, don't forget please. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, turn on notification sign. Reason for you to turn on notification sign is to always get notified whenever Jazz Graphic drop a new tutorial video on YouTube. ASAP YouTube will notify you. Cool. then after this now guys look at what will happen so you place this here after that just lock it up I've locked it up now so next thing you need to do next thing you need to do is this still go back to import so when you click on import now go back click on images there is this particular something I want to bring in so you click on this then you click on this image they see that so when you click you increase I don't know hope you are seeing what I'm doing this is perfect then you copy then click on crop rotate it make it fit the other side you see that you click then you bring the same thing to this side I don't know if you are getting you are seeing what I'm doing this is how that looks like this is perfect isn't it then after everything lock the two up so after you've locked up now next thing you need to do is to bring in the picture yeah the celebrant so to bring in the celebrant you go to images then go to I'm using snap photo room I'm using photo room to remove my background so you bring this image you see that so once you bring the image you increase Take it side here, perfect. Then let's import the second image. So you click on import, then you bring this image. Perfect. So let's see you need to do now is just to reduce this. Do not make the two images to be on the same length. It won't make sense. So one should be smaller while the other one is bigger. Perfect. Then after this now, look at next thing you need to do is this guys watch i want to create a radiant effect on this image so all you need to do click on shape so once you click on shape do not click on this good sign if you want to create a radiant effect do not click on this good sign so from here scroll as you can see once you bring in the shape you have many options here so from these options from these options this is your color so you click on rad gradient so when you click on gradient this is how to create gradient effect let's assume this is the color you selected then after you've selected that color you click here you click on this plus sign do you see that good so once you click on this plus sign watch once you click on this plus sign you have this then since you want to create a gradient a gradient effect this is how it will look like you see that so this will be here so here this part you click on this edge watch it's not difficult this edge and this edge 
represents these two, represents this part and this part. Do you understand? So now look at what I will do. Let me just select one of the one of the color. Let me assume I'm selecting this color. So you click on color, make it transparent as you can see from here. As you can see. So as you can see from here, I drag it to this end. This is the transparent. This part is the this part here is the transparent part. So why this has the color? Do you see that? Good. Then after this, now click your good sign. Are you seeing what I'm doing now? So look at what you will do. You rotate this, take this part up. Then coming to this part now, go to shapes. These are the effects that do take part. Do you see this? Look at this. Look at this. So this is the one I will be using. But I got to rotate it. Take this up. Then you bring this down. Do you see that? Then after this, bring it up. So when you bring it up, you have this. Do you see that? Then after that, you click your OK sign. Can you see? We have been able to create this gradient effect here. Do you see that? So after creating this, you place this here. You click your good sign. Then after clicking your good sign, watch guys. Watch. Like watch. After creating your good sign, next thing you need to do is this guys. Now go to texture. Enable your, sorry. Bring this down. Enable your texture. Then when you enable your texture, select the same picture background. So you go to download rather. So you go to download. I want to select the same background that I used for this um this birthday flyer tutorial. So this is what this is the background. You click on this background, then you pick from here to here. Watch. You see if you click this part, can you see? I've selected the same background with this then you enable this to have a particular this thing so this is how that looks like this is just the easiest way you can create radiant effect using pixel art so you have this this is perfect isn't it then after this lock everything up as you can see our design is taking shape so next thing you need to do is this guys just watch so let me import the picture. Let me import this flyer. Then I will be looking at it and do my tutorial. Because I don't want to escape or miss any part of this flyer. Good. So here is the flyer. You see that? Here is the flyer. Perfect. Then after this now, next thing you need to do is this, guys. Just watch. Watch me do the design. Don't bother yourself. Just watch me do the design. So after this, next thing you need to do is this, guys. Then after this now, I don't really like the color. Like I don't like the way this stuff is looking. Do you know? So now let's now I need to do. I I use the background. So let me bring in a background just to blend, just to blend the color. Cause I don't really like how, I don't like shouty, shouty flyer or shouty design. So let me blend the color and make it a little bit dim. Do you understand? So to do that, let's wait for my download pictures to display or to load. Okay, so it has loaded, guys. I'll be using this particular background. This background. So at this point, I'm begging you, please subscribe if you are new to my channel and turn on notification sign. So you bring this background, then increase and make it cover the whole surface of your design increase and make it cover the whole surface you have this then after this guys go to transparency decrease the transparency are you seeing the shape that this stuff is taking so you leave this like this then after this next thing you need to do is this you click here then drag this to the end so this should be here you see that to increase the opacity so this is cool you have these guys then click on this particular one go to opacity reduce the opacity no increase the opacity this is beautiful then after this here is the look are you seeing that so next thing you need to do guys is this then this house take it down this bring it down so once you bring it down, can you see it has blend? 
without background i don't know if you are getting what i'm doing as you can see now this this flyer is already taking shape so after that now next thing you need is now let's bring in the typing work now because we are already done look at this and look at the one i'm doing so there's this particular flyer flower by the side so this is what i did so go to import let me lock everything up guys so now click on go to import there is still something i'm not locking up here okay now click go to import then once you click on import i've removed the background of that flyer so all i need to do is just to locate the flyer where the flyer is yeah i'm trying to locate the flyer where the flyer is so stay tuned and watch from start to finish guys oh my phone is now hanging there is much i think this phone needs to be offloaded i need to remove some things from this phone yeah i really need to re remove some things from this one so go to images then go to photo room so this is my photo room when you open the photo room i use the particular flower i think this is the flower that i used you see that you bring in this flower so when you bring in you reduce this flower then i place this flower here then after placing i went to opaque city i played around with the opaque city you see that so this is what you will have here i seen that perfect then after that lock it up unlock this previous flower then now you start your typing work so to start your typing work now you click on this a i seen that then you bring what glorious birthday so you type in what glorious birthday so you type in glorious So this is glorious then when you try glorious you place this glorious here you reduce this place it here then go to background enable your background then select a white color from the background so this is a white color just don't bother about anything then still on text go to color now give the text color red yeah, you see we are having this red color then go back to that background this is the background now edit this white background how you want it to be do you get it so this is cool do the same thing on the right hand side just add a little perfect then the top and down is okay i guess then just add little radius to it just little is okay so five is okay perfect then after this you place this here now go to font you click on font then when you click on font then let's locate for font let's look for font we are gonna use for this so this no okay let me go to my font so this is font here is my font and recently used so i used um did i use this this i think i used this font for this then you increase are you seeing that so once you increase now no this is not the font that i used so go back to font again when you go to font go to recently use did i use this i think this is the font that i use so this you reduce this font place this font here this is not the font that i used so let's still hunt for the font okay mm. my font yeah this is the font that i used i use this font exactly then reduce place this stuff here then copy that just copy it then move it a bit 
make it start from the second letter you see that then double click then you bring in what birthday so you erase you bring in birthday perfect you see that then go to that the same background here click on this background then give it a yellow color do you see that then after you've given it a yellow color the text inside the red background <coughs> change the color of the text make it white so you have this white color excellent then you click now go to shadow just for it to be readable nothing much so this is cool perfect then after this now still click on okay no so now next thing you need to do is to bring in the name of the celebrant so the name of the celebrant is Shinoye. so you type Shinoye. 